Mitered edges can be kind of a challenge to put together and stay together. They always kind of want to have a tendency to start backing away and coming apart. A fantastic way to get around that is to use a lock miter bit. Now, they can be a little challenging to set up and get perfect, but with a few little tips, no problem at all. Let me show you how. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to get whatever piece you're using and get the thickness. You're gonna wanna put it on the fence and then get a straight edge and put it across to where the bit just grazes the straight edge. So when you have that nice and set up, you're gonna to wanna to send one piece through as your test piece. You're gonna follow that up with cutting it in two so you can now see how well they plane out together. All right, I have my two pieces. So whenever I lock these together this way, do you notice that one lip right there is just a little bit proud so that means you need to raise the bit slightly now it might take a few passes a few trial and error moments but if you slightly adjust that that should take care of that now if it's just the opposite if it's just if it's just a little shy then you're going to need to lower that so anyways let's try it out now that you raise the bit you are going to have to readjust the fence to make that bit just kiss the straight edge one more time. We're then just gonna go through the process one more time for a test fit. Okay, round two on the pieces. So if you put these together, look at the end there. And you can see that those flush out perfectly. Now, this could take you two, three, four, five tries. It's just a matter of very small adjustments to get that to work out nicely. So now we're gonna actually put the pieces on. I'm gonna show you how to cut them and how it joins together for a 45. So we're gonna go through the process one more time. One piece you're gonna lay flat on the table and send through. And for the next piece, you're actually gonna wanna turn it vertically on the fence and send it through. Now it's always smart to use a push block or a push stick to send that through. Okay, so we have our two pieces. And now when you lock them together, makes for the perfect 45 lock miter.